today we're gonna make a little llama. Um, so we have a llama to paint and a block. Um, we're gonna paint both of those and then we will add some details to our llama and then we'll put it all together with some gems and some glue and we'll get our llama finished. All right, so our first step is we're gonna paint this llama. So in addition to your kit, you need to have some paper towels nearby and some water nearby to wash your um, paintbrush when you change colors. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna paint this llama and the llama is gonna be white. We're gonna paint the whole thing white. You're gonna put two nice coats on it. So paint the whole thing white. So after I put two nice coats of paint on my llama, I'm gonna set him aside to dry and I'm gonna find my black. Now your black, you could do any color. I am going to do blue because I have a lot of it and it'll look good against the white llama. So I'm not even gonna wash my brush. I'm just going to start painting my black, a, a black, two coats of blue paint, and do your edges as well too. So I have two coats of blue on my black and I'm gonna let that dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna bring back my little llama. I'm gonna put him on a paper towel just so he doesn't get any paint on him. All right, so I have my little llama, and now we're gonna add some details. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with some black. So you need to open up that black. And if you're working with the paints in the little palette, so you might wanna stir it around a little bit. Sometimes the paint separates. So what I'm gonna do is his little feet, I'm just gonna put a nice black line. And if your white still isn't fully dry and it gets a little gray, that's okay. So then I put a nice little black line on both of those feet. And I'm gonna do the same thing right where the, his snout is. So I have his snout and his feet done. What I am going to do is I am actually gonna make a little gray. So I'm gonna take my small brush and in the cap of the white paint, I'm just gonna add a little tiny black to it. I'm gonna keep on adding black until I get a nice like light gray. So then I have a little light gray right here. I have my small brush. And what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna use that gray to add like texture to our fur. So I'm gonna take my gray and I'm just, where all those like the little curves of the body are, I'm just gonna make like little curved lines in the gray. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture. I'm not gonna worry about the top of his body right there because we're gonna add like a saddle. And in his ears, I'm gonna do the same thing. And in the middle of his ears, I'm going to add a little gray as well. There we have our little llama. Llamas are indigenous to Peru. And we'll find him in the mountains. All right, so I'm going to wash and dry both my brushes right now. I'm gonna use my bigger one and we're gonna make like a little saddle on him. To make a little saddle, you can use whatever colors you want. I am going to use the green. So I'm gonna stir that around. And then just in the top of his body, I'm just gonna make like a U almost. Once I have that, I'm just gonna fill it in with green. Once I have that green, I'm going to wash my brush again. And I'm gonna take some of that dark blue 
and I am gonna like just outline the saddle with that dark blue. But you could kind of do like any design you want on that saddle. Next, I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm gonna add some tassels around my saddle. So I have some yellow paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add like little lines around my saddle. And that's gonna be the start of our tassels. So just little lines, almost like rays of sunshine around his saddle. Then what I'm gonna do, since I didn't use red any yet, I'm gonna use some red. I am actually gonna use the back of my brush for the next part. So I'm gonna mix up my red. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use the back of my brush and all along the area where the tassels and the blue meet, I am just going to dip in the red paint and put some dots. Dip and dot, dip and dot. Try not to dot on your llama. I'll go back with some white. Dip and dot, dip and dot. Beautiful. So then we have a really colorful saddle. So I'm just going to go back now with some white paint and just cover over that little stain that I got on him. And this is, if you, if something happens, you just paint right over it. You probably have to paint over it a couple times to get it all out, but that looks good to me. I'm just going to add white throughout now. You don't have to Alrighty. Now this step is optional. The next step, if you'd like, there's some clear glitter in your palette. You could add some clear glitter to the body of the llama. It'll help give it a little texture so it looks like fur a bit. Don't go crazy by the head because we still gotta add an eye. All right, so I added some glitter it over my pink. Next what we're going to do is we're going to work on the eye and the nose. So what I'm going to do for my eye is I'm going to use that same technique. I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush and I'm going to put a nice little eye. So I'm going to tip, dip the back of my paintbrush in some black paint and I'm just going to put and I just put an eye. I have my eye really close. I'm going to take my brush again and put a little white paint at the end of it. A tiny bit. And I'm just going to put a tiny white dot in my eye. Tiny white dot. Alright. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a nose. To add a nose, I'm going to actually make some pink. So I'm going to do my little cap trick again, but I'm going to add white to the red cap and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back of that little brush dip it in that paint and what I'm going to do to make the nose I'm going to make just a, a V with the pink a V and it almost comes out like a heart but it looks like a little nose to our little dude all right so I'm going to let him dry for a couple minutes and then we're gonna glue him on our board and add some gems. We are going to finish the llama. So everything's dry, my block's dry, my llama's dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, you could take glue, you could take glue stick, any kind of Elmer's glue, and what you could do is you're just gonna put a little glue on the back of the llama. And gently push her down on the block. Once you have the llama down, I gave you guys some gems 
and you guys, I like to add them like right where my tassels are. Just like a couple. Put some dabs of glue, and then put some gems. The gems just bring in a little more color. And then if you have extra gems too, you could decorate the background or add any kind of interesting details that you'd like. So I hope you guys had fun making the llama. Once it's all dry, it'll probably take like an hour to dry. You could stand it up, hang it up, do whatever you like with it. All right, thanks for joining me painting.